Have you ever had one of those mornings when you're working on a project and you think, ah, did I think of that and will it fit? Well, guys, I uh, went to put this hood on this morning and this support that I made for the steering column overhangs. Let me see if I can get up underneath there for you just about a half an inch there and there I got to trim off the fiberglass so it wasn't a huge thing but yeah it didn't go down uh, without doing a little work to it so today what I'm gonna accomplish is get this to fit on down like it belongs and then I am gonna strip all this old wiring out of here and rewire this thing want to make it so uh you know this is a mess i don't like the way that looks so i'm gonna take all the old harnesses off of there off of here and uh and rewire this thing by the end of the day i want to be able to flip a switch hit a start button and be able to drive this thing yesterday i took care of the the seats there. I painted this uh, gel coat two part res and stuff on there. And I tell you what, it was a little scary because <clears throat> parts of it was curing up like I felt it should, and parts of it was uh, staying a little tacky. And the thing was that I uh, I actually put more of the catal catalyst in it that. Uh, that the instruction said so it's like well why isn't this curing up but it did cure up overnight i even uh i had a little left over <laughs> this is kind of funny because i'm like you know why isn't this stuff curing up and it's like well it obviously gets hard you can see even some of that though clear at the bottom there it uh it uh is a little bit uh soft there still so we'll leave that like that and see if that cures up but the seats they're not tacky anymore but i tell you last night i'm out here and uh, touching the seats and i'm getting the gel coat on my hands i'm like oh my god you know the thing with welding fabricating if you do a cruddy weld you can see it immediately stuff that uh takes chemical reactions yeah, I don't know about that but yeah they're good and solid now they're not going to come apart so I'm happy with the way the seats turned out yesterday but I need to pull that hood back off do what trimming I have to so it'll go on down pull all the old wiring out and uh, rewire this thing As you can see even this old, uh, let's lift that up. That old fuse block has seen better days. So I'm gonna have to pick me up one of them and uh, and do some wiring. Should be able to sit in the cockpit and flip a switch and hit a start button and uh, be able to cruise the buggy around. So another thing I worked on yesterday was this roll bar and i made these mounts here it's just tacked in there now but they bolted onto the top of the torsion housing there came on down i got an inch and a half sliding into the inch and three quarter tubing there the problem is that when it's all tight and welded it's not really a, a problem but i what i wanted was this to be able to slide in and out without pulling this mount off but there's a slight bend so you're actually fighting against the bend uh, trying to pick it up so I'm just gonna weld those up clean them up get them installed and just have to unbolt it and then slide the mounts off after you unbolt it that's just how it's gonna have to work cuz uh, yeah like I said these bars they taper down 
So that means the inserted bars off the mounts are going up in it in an angle. There's just no way it's gonna work. It'll slide in and out. If they were straight, they'd slide in and out. But them being at an angle like that, uh, it is what it is. And I was fighting it a little bit yesterday. And I'm like, dude, it's just, uh, you know, it's not gonna work. So uh, no big deal. Just unbolt it and then slide the mounts out if you ever have to remove the, the roll bar there. And I also I wanna come up with, this needs a rear bumper. And I was thinking about that, you know, no, with no tube chassis, I mean, it's easy to do the hoops from underneath and come on up. But what am I going to mount the top to? Fiberglass? So, well, I don't know, guys. I like steel. <laughs> I build things out of steel. It's easy to, like, look at Franken buggy. That thing's got a cage. The sand buggy's got a cage. Yeah, everything's got a cage. They got steel you can mount to. Fiberglass? Well, I'll figure it out. But uh, it sure is cool looking. I think that's going to be a neat looking buggy. And, uh, you know, by the end of the day, we're going to be able to hit a button and it starts up. So I'm going to get to work here. I'll bring you guys back in a little bit. And, uh, you know, let's get through this day and make some progress. We'll see you in a bit. Yeah, the alignment of the steering column is off a little bit there. So, do I cut and weld this over a little bit? That would give me more room because when I go into reverse, I'm like having to pick a leg up, go over the shifter, all that stuff. So, I think I'm going to move this on over just a little bit. A little bit of cutting and welding there. And, uh, instead of cutting that fiberglass so let's do that yeah but as far as underneath now everything should fit there so all right i'm gonna push this under the porch and uh do a little cutting and welding here all right guys well a little excitement uh well, let's start with what I've done today. Finished uh, making up these mounts here for the roll bar. That's not going anywhere. And I undid some wiring. Here's a harness. Got rid of that. That went to the front lights and everything. I'm going to do that at a different point. Had to uh, run a ground wire to the body there. Everything, you know, we're not dealing with metal, we're dealing with fiberglass, so you gotta run ground leads. That goes to the fuel pump there. Uh, rewired everything here. We got the uh, starter, and we got the uh, alternator lead, 
and then we got the power going to the front things passing over the top here i tell you one thing i uh i liked about rally bug is i made this big door right here to be able <laughs> to get in there and work this has been fun you can actually see where the transaxle has been rubbing on this body so i think i'm going to be doing something with this bed here uh i got temporary harness made up in there track some wires down here now this will be our uh our power coming from the battery here is ignition and fuel pump so let's uh let's see if this thing will start if we hear a uh, turbo barking on the inside there we know it's uh it started so got power ignition fuel pump that's running and this is our starter lead here Hey, 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 no arcs on the on the chassis there. We know the wiring's all right. Now, uh, this one here, that one goes to the alternator. Any one is wired an alternator. This guy here has to go through either a gauge or a light. So what I gotta do now is I gotta run and buy some switches and that light so I can, uh, finish wiring up the dash and everything one thing i had to do this uh this steering wheel a little bit low i actually elevated the whole thing here uh, my support structure for the steering column had to elevate that a little bit there uh, in order for it to fit properly in there because it was <laughs> after i did that cutting and welding it came in down below here anyway so elevated that so it actually goes up into this notch here so anyways i'm gonna run to uh o'reilly get some switches and uh that one little light for the alternator come back and put this dash together and uh hell we should be able to do some ripping so uh i'll be back in a little bit gotta run to the store All right, guys well that's it for today and it's been a day that wiring was fun so we'll go over what was accomplished today we got the uh, roll bar mounted that's not going anywhere had to do a little manipulation of the uh, steering column support I made there but it's sitting it's weird it sits a little high there but i think once we get the uh the padding in those seats lift uh lift up a little bit it'll it'll feel right that's where it was that's where it's gonna stay uh so what that accomplished was getting this uh front hood on got it all wired up so it starts now speedometer's connected i'll know tomorrow when i take it down the road whether it works or not and uh 
and do a little bit neater job of everything here. I basically just put stuff together, make sure I could get it to work. And uh, yeah, looking forward to looking at the video to see how this uh, roll bar sits with my head. So, <laughs> but uh, yeah, very good. So, yep, that's where I'm going to call it today because I got a mess to clean up. I do not like leaving the shop a mess and then having to get to work in the morning and the first thing I got to do is clean up the shop. So I'm going to clean this mess up, call it a day, and in the morning we got to get the windshield put on there. I noticed today, looking at the windshield, that there's actually... It's got this little mount for a, uh, a rear view mirror. So if I can find a rear view mirror to get put on there, uh, that will already be done. So, and the hood and everything, I mean, that has to be mounted. Everything's just kind of laying in there now. So more work tomorrow. And then, uh, yeah, I'll be able to rip it around. See how everything feels. Should be a little bit heavier with the uh, with the body on there, but uh, I tell you what, when I was just driving the pan and the 40 horse around, it was it was moving, it was ripping pretty good. So uh, I think that's going to be a fun little car. Looking forward to getting it done. So everyone have a great evening, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow.